I'm Gertrud Rosemann, I'm almost 93, and I studied education. My name is Peter Korsch. My name is Peter Korsch, and I worked in advertising agencies. On paper, I'm 75, but I feel as if I'm 60. Gertrude and Peter are museum guides for the exhibition Dialogue with Time, the Art of Aging. Developed in Frankfurt, it's now being shown in various European cities. All the guides are over 70. They're proof that older people can still lead active lives. Today, their guests are students of international economics. They're the managers of tomorrow. Gertrude Rosamond and Peter Korsch tell of their lives on the job then and now. And they teach the students what it means to be old, hands shake, and fingers become stiff. In Japan, like after the retirement of age 65, so many people have a starting own business right now. I think future those, the, the number which has a number of people working beyond 62, the number is going to increase very rapidly in India. People mostly uh, work till they die. Because in Arabic, uh, retired, if you uh, translate it, rearrange the letters, is die sitting. And people, they want to die standing. Gertrude Rosamond is the oldest of what are called senior guides. She works two days a week. I think everyone should work as long as they can, if they enjoy it. If everyone benefits, the public, companies, the person themselves, then that's good, right? She did not want a tranquil retirement. Gertrude used to teach German. Compulsory retirement came at 63, but she was not ready to stop. She started a second career, establishing a doll and toy museum. As the museum's director, she worked a 70-hour week. Exhibits were dolls from Japan or ancient figurines, some more than 2,000 years old. I made my biggest error in judgment back then, perhaps the biggest mistake of my life. I thought, I'm 75, my head shakes, my legs are unsteady, nothing works anymore. So she surrendered her job to a younger person. So there I was, suddenly unemployed at 75, so to speak. At the exhibition, young people can experience what it's like to no longer be part of active life, to no longer be needed. Make the best out of it. Sure. Okay, we'll leave you. We're going on. Okay. If you have to be quick, it's like going up steps. But we still get up them. Are you moving up the stairs more safely? No. Are you moving with more awareness? Yes, it's much more conscious. When you're older, you're very aware. Though he's long past retirement age, Korsh is still working at the exhibition center in Frankfurt. He has a part-time job in the souvenir shop. Would that be cash? <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. He says seniors are better at dealing with people and coping with stress. There's a really good comparison that used to be true. Back in the day, people over a certain age were pigeonholed as old and rusty. Today, we're polished stainless steel. But some of the students are skeptical, especially when they come from countries that have high unemployment. France, for example. Yes, there are active seniors, but there are also young university graduates who have to take jobs that are beneath their level of education. It just gets harder and harder. Next, the exhibition moves on to Taiwan. Gertrude Rosamond would love to go along, but she has no time. She's taken another job, visiting schools to show young children how much old folks can do.